Let's learn how to create gradient blur backgrounds in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. On a blank canvas, let's come over to my fill and stroke and let's switch off my stroke and keep my fill on. Then let's grab a rectangle and click and drag out a rectangle, the length and width of the canvas and release once happy. Next, come to my gradient panel, and if I can't find it, go to Window Gradient, and select a points gradient to activate a points gradient within the rectangle. With each point in the gradient, I can select it, I can double click it, and either use the color picker or the swatches to assign a new color to that point in the gradient, and I can click and drag the circle here to increase or decrease the intensity of the gradient and the blend. I can also move these points to different places within the rectangle by clicking to select and clicking and dragging them around the rectangle. I can also add more points either by clicking with points, so select and click anywhere to add more points, and I can delete them by selecting them and pressing backspace, or I can select lines in the gradient swatch panel and I can click and drag out a series of new points that are connected via a line as you can see here. So go forth, add, remove or change as many points as you like and add as many different colors as you like to each point. And finally, one last thing you can try as well is if you go to edit, edit colors and recolor artwork. Let me just quickly command or control minus to zoom out so we can see this. You can use the recolor artwork color wheel to test new color schemes and mess around with the position of the colors within the gradient. And there you have it, fully customizable gradient blur backgrounds in Illustrator. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.